Hey guys, and welcome to World Machine. So I've been wanting to do this for quite a while now, is actually get a world building thing going up. And I've been talking, or I've been talking with you guys a lot about getting a creative series going for the steampunk thing. I don't know if we'll be using this map for it or not, but kind of going to be making a map as if we were going to be using it there. And once we finish this, I'll kind of send it out to you guys to download and all that so you guys can have it and check it out granted i haven't used world machine for probably three four months and i haven't really done anything looking around at it at all so it's going to be a lot of us learning together on how to reuse the program um i've been i reset up the suite that i had before basically that being said so up here this is like if you guys haven't seen world machine before this is what it is this is basically you open up the program this is what it is you can just go to world machines website just google it and there's a free version that's what we're going to be using that you can basically make up to 1000 by 1000 resolutions of a 3d terrain and then from that you can export the height maps which we can send into world painter and import as a height map over there and it basically creates the train for us so we get all this really cool hyper realistic train that's really detailed down as you can see here for what we have going on so we get all that really cool unique train and we can get a bunch of different texturings and different color maps which we can use for overlays and getting different types of foliage gravel runs things like that into the actual train itself so a lot of what we're going to be doing here is kind of just prepping up the world and how it's going to be shaped and so to start out this is kind of where it comes in right here basically you can double click on all these and it kind of opens up different things this is you have a train generation um so we have our train blah sorry we have our train generation right here we have our filters right here we have our output right here which output is basically what we're locked at um how do i lock this uh let's see lock preview on device so then like that's pretty much when we go to the screen that's what we're seeing right now basically all they did right here is what's is that okay. okay so that's f key um so right in here this is what it looks like to begin with so it's just this terrain it's really really basic and then pretty much all they do by default is they add a little terracing filter right in here and that comes out and that adds these terrace features onto this so that being said our goal or what we want to be doing here for what i'm thinking at least is i want to be making a river valley um, so i'm going to bring a layout generator down here pretty much what we do with this we can double click into here and then we kind of go ahead and create two lines that we want our mountains to be on. I'm thinking we have one line kind of like this. So that's going to be one bit right there. And then we have a, ah, no, crap. Um, let's go back here. How do I undo these points? I can't remember. That's what I always, let's see. Can I click? Oh, no, that's not it at all. Um, let's see. Let me get this figured out. I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so apparently you just finish the line, then you can hover over it and press the delete key and it'll delete it for you. That's good to know. Um, so I'm actually going to go ahead and delete this guy as well here. Yeah, so I instead of having the river be going straight top to bottom, I kind of want to have it kind of going across like that. Um, just to make it a little bit more interesting and more diagonal buildings, because as you guys probably have noticed, I really like those. Um... So we're going to be kind of bringing it off screen or off the our rendered area and then another one kind of like coming into here and kind of opening up at the end here um so there's there's our two marks right there and what we can do is we can no um how do i go and do this brush properties no what is this shape list there we go there's our line right here and so we, we're clicked on our line now right up in that area. And then you can go into edit, I believe. Is that it? No. What is this? I'm blanking on how to do this. Okay, yeah. So uh, perform curve smoothing. We can do that kind of. Oh, As you guys can see, I'm trying to figure this out as we go here too. So we can perform some curve smoothing right there. And that's going to kind of bring those out and being a lot smoother together uh, beyond that. So we can kind of go back into our edit shape properties. So we, here we are, we're editing line three, which is this guy right here. 
and we can change how it's going to, and I want to do some pretty steep mountains. So we're going to kind of start the curve off like that. Um, and yeah, so we'll do that and it's going to go up to the max height and then four, we're going to do that as well through that area. If it'll work, maybe, I don't know. We'll see. There we go. A little bit of lag. But so now we can go into the terrain generation. That's kind of the basic shape of these mountains. That one's kind of weird. I might actually want to move that. Oh, what it would do. Um, so that's that guy. Can we move him over? Yeah, we can. So we can just move him actually directly over this way, right there. So this program, the more you get into it, the more intense it kind of gets, more or less. So pretty much what it's going to be is we're going to have a river running right down through here. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to lock this preview right there. And we're going to come in here with another generator. So under the generator tab, we're going to bring another layout generator. And what we're going to do with this guy is so we can still see that old stuff because we have that preview locked. What we're going to do is we're going to create a little bit of a river right in here. So pretty much what it's going to be is we're going to be kind of just carefully creating our line for what we want it to be looking like. And the river valley, I really want it to have like different curves to it and everything. And kind of just coming along and going out the edge right down there. So that's going to look really weird for a quick second here. Um, so what we're going to do is go into, where was that priorities thing? Yeah, so here we are in the priorities of this line. In this one, we're going to have it be that straight up and down again. But what you guys will see here is we're actually going to invert the values. And this this will come into play later. Uh, if I believe I'm doing this correctly. So we can go into shape overview. I'm going to unlock this preview. Make sure we're doing this guy right. So here we have the shape of our river right along here. And more or less, what? how do I? Yeah, so I need to invert the value. Is this going to? Yeah, I think this is going to work. Nope, I turned it off. Yep, there we go. So this looks really, really dumb right now. But you guys will be able to see this really easily right here. All right, so you see how that's cutting down again? Basically later on, we're gonna use this combiner tool to combine everything together. And so it's gonna read our river as being the bottom lowest value it possibly can be. And that's actually going to make it so we can, um, what should we call it? So that we can like attach them all together. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna decrease the fall off distance by quite a bit. So it's actually just like a really, really skinny little line. Let's see when this will load in here. It's kind of holding up the computer quite a bit. So now you can see kind of where the shape of that river is actually going to end up being. So with that we can, yeah, so there you go. You can see where it's going to be just kind of dropping directly off there. We're just going to slightly add this into the end product. So there's our river line right there. And with that, we can kind of work with our layout generator now. And pretty much what this guy can do is we can go with another generator or I usually use some macros here that I got. These guys are off of the, I can't do that trick. That doesn't have a feed in point. Um, so a lot of these macros that I got are coming from um, different things on the, God, what is it? World Machine, right, duh, I'm sorry, words are hard. Um, they're coming from the World Machine website itself. So what we can do here is we can take this little, oh, wow, sorry, I'm a, I swear I'm gonna be doing better on this. So we can bring that out and we can bring that out into the mask input. Pretty much what that's gonna do right there is that's gonna, what we're doing off this guy right here is now we have a little bit of texture applied to our mountains. And it seems like we actually wanna change the mountains up quite a bit here. Um, so let's go back into this guy right here. And what we can do is we can actually go ahead and I'm thinking for now, I want to just try this right there. Um, so they kind of go out a little bit wider then drop down. And then, um, just so we can kind of have something to gauge this off of while we're kind of building it together. And see what that did right here is now that we can go into this guy and this is actually a little bit better shape for what we're looking at 
Granted, we don't have any slopes or anything in here yet. Um, that's, I'm just going to go ahead and delete this terrace. Um, so pretty much just to get a base thing right here, uh, where's our natural erosion? We can grab an erosion filter and kind of bring this guy into here and you guys can, you guys will be able to see, they have a bunch of presets in here. They're really useful. Um, I like the world machine, classic world machine plus power. It works out pretty well. And then, um, you guys will be able to see kind of that. Uh, I'll show you guys so we can bring the filter strength up here a little bit. And yeah, that looks, let's go. So what this is doing right here, then we can build it to get a clearer image. It just takes a quick sec here to build. It kind of, it, the build times take a lot longer as you add more things into it. But yeah, so we kind of, what we're going to get here is a lot of erosion channels, which you guys will probably start looking like something a lot better now. Build's complete. So you can see all these erosion channels are starting to come down here. Um, some of them like that are going to look a little derpy once you get into Minecraft. But for the most part, this is kind of what we're trying to get built up here. More or less, granted, we want to get some, we're going to, this is basically just the mountains area. And then we're basically going to bring in different sections and work on bringing that lower points and everything like that. So with that, there we have our little erosion thing. That's a really basic mountain. And let's see. Can I bring that power down just, or bring it up just a tad bit? You can see it kind of brought the mountains down just slightly. But yeah, so what, what I kind of want to do here is bring the erosion out a bit, maybe. Base duration. So basically, this is kind of how long, how many years it's been going for. Um, let's see if we brought this down pretty far. Bring the rock hardness down, bring that up, bring the sediment carry out, bring the rock hardness back up a little bit. Yeah, this is looking a lot. It looks in the little little thing looks a little lot better at least. So you can build this again here. It looks slightly different. Basically, I just brought out that area right there, and a few other little different spots that are. <coughs> Sorry, I had to cough there, um, but yeah. So it brought out a few different spots that are just a little bit more detailed now, and just more interesting, more or less. But yeah, so the tops of the mountains are kind of weird looking still. That's something we still need to work with and fix. Trying to make those a little bit more pointed, more or less. Um, so what we can actually do here is we can kind of bring this guy in a little bit and trying to get a little bit better shape here. There we go, we can do that. And then basically just, no, come on. I think I've been exiting out of these instead of actually changing it. So that's my bad. So you gotta hit okay there. Yeah, so I wanna bring this guy up a little bit here again. Um, bring the sediment carry out again. Bring you down, actually. Bring the filter strength down just slightly. And now it's gonna look a lot different. So here we go, we built it. It definitely looks a lot different than it did before. I like this bit a lot more. That part right here that will look really, really weird because it's basically a straight line right there. So in game, that would actually look really kind of dumb, more or less. But this base valley area right here in the middle, I actually want to be bringing that up quite a bit. So hopefully we can get that to kind of even out and smooth itself out. But that's kind of just the base idea of what we want to get going for the mountains. I'm going to mess with them for a little bit and kind of get to a clearer point of where I want to see it sitting at. So once I get something pretty cool looking, I will let you guys know and I'll be right back with you. Okay, after messing with this for like probably another 20, 30 minutes, I think I finally got something that I'm pretty happy with so far. There's still a few parts on it, like that flat face right there, that little flat bit right there, and that part up there, that and those guys right along that side that I'm really not that happy with. In a sec here, I'll show you guys what we ended up doing or what I ended up doing, but the slope as far so far as far as getting the river kind of coming through here, I'm a really, really big fan of. And I kind of smoothed out the middle area to bring it up just slightly. And beyond that, there's a lot of stuff we can kind of start doing inside different areas of it. But we finally have like a working world to kind of build off of. 
So I'm really excited with that bit right there. And as you can see that we got a lot of different height variation and everything like that. The mountains aren't capped out. They're all still rounded tops, so that's good. That means they won't just be flat when we import them into Minecraft. Over here as well, I mean, we could work on the tops of those a little bit, make them a little bit pointier or something like that, more of an artistic style. But yeah, so this is kind of the base right now. And to show you guys the default view, so I end up organizing this quite a bit. All this stuff up here, ignore that. Don't, don't look at that yet. That was me messing around with some other stuff. Basically what I did was I was trying to make a snow layer. Um, I was trying to make a snow layer to figure out the different um, these are all the channels more or less of where like say snow would be if it was a snowy day There's a lot to it um, It's basically just a height map we can use to Put on like say like a gravel layer or something like that but Anyways, so what I did here is we changed the layout generator up just slightly it looks really weird right now um, But yeah, so it's that slightly changed up the advanced pearl in I changed up quite a bit here and this guy kind of works a lot more bulky mountains than anything before um, so that's pretty cool I really like how this guy turned out and then our first we put our first step of erosion at it which is where that kind of okay so that's where that's coming into play and that kind of stuff so this one I probably have to monkey with some more but yeah so this is where the first erosion comes in and then I made the planes Vero noise macro which is pretty much it's a custom macro that you can get on the world machine website and it basically it just adds kind of a plainsy look to it. And basically what I did with that is then I went ahead and clamped that so it's at a lower area. And then I used a combiner, which brings the two of them together, bringing up this lower area, bringing down the upper areas just slightly, and basically giving us that nice little look of the valley coming right through here. And as you guys can see, it's kind of coming through that way. And then we put one final step of erosion on it without any like time constraints to it so it's just it's a really smooth one it's kind of actually cutting out a little bit of like where say like a river would be you can kind of see it down there at the bottom but yeah so that's what i got for you guys today I'll leave it on this screen for you uh, i do hope you enjoyed this video let me know what you guys are thinking about this kind of stuff in the future i really like messing around with this stuff if you guys are interested as well i'd definitely be down to keep making maps and give these to you guys as we go and make a bunch of them uh, this is the free version of World Machine again, so with that guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments below, and if you guys are new, please hit that like and subscribe button down below so you guys know where to find me. And with that, I will see you guys next time.